exciting to be talking to somebody who is the epitome of talent. Today, of course, I'm in conversation with the very beautiful Tabu. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Firstly, we don't get to see you enough. We don't get to hear enough from you. So, tell us what have you been up to? In the pandemic, I don't think you got to see it. enough of anyone <laughs> because none of us had any movies coming up i know and you're one of those who doesn't like to talk unless you know and let prefers let her work speak for her this time around literally speaking i have to say <laughs> and yeah. you are the narrator in the hindi adaptation of neil gaiman's cult novel sandman now how did they agree how did they make you agree to this make me agree no i am i am i love voice overs i love uh, narrating stories i love doing voice overs for commercials so this was just the right thing for me and because i've already worked with audible for thriller factory and i absolutely love this medium i've grown up listening to stories on radio and you know i i'm a big fan of podcasts i always listen to podcasts more than i watch videos so it was just too exciting for me and because of course it's the you know greatest epic in the world of graphic novels and it has such a recall and it has such a huge place in the history of literature and fiction that it was just uh, an honor for me really. you have flawless diction when it comes to hindi and your knowledge of hindi is also fantastic when i spoke to vijay varma who plays morpheus he said this experience helped him better his hindi was yeah. was the same for you uh uh definitely it was uh i think it was like exploring a different kind of uh kya bolte hain voice culture hmm. uh and the whole uh, world of narrating oh. you know because narrating is different from performing hmm. from acting you know in acting and performing you still have tools you have dialogue you have the emotional context of the scene or the film you have other actors but here you're just relying on your voice to tell the story and to tell it correctly in absolutely the essence of you know retaining the essence of how the author has written it you know you want to be true to that so it's the it's a new world it was a new world for me also and especially with a story like the sandman which is so graphic so detailed so imaginative and you know it it's a world in its own it's dark it's morbid sometimes it is beautiful sometimes it is enchanting so you over you are trying to get all those qualities in your voice that will you know give the listener the experience of all those things you know and i'm sure you know you being the fantastic performer that you are you brought all that to it but just to expand on what you were saying when you are in front of the camera yeah. you know you there's so many subtleties in acting and especially your kind of acting so for you to bring all that into just your voice that must have been a challenge because yeah. i feel like you have a whole range when it comes just to your face your body it was it was you're just sitting in one room by yourself with just one mic and the lines huh? and you are just trying to use all your whatever tools you can hmm? to bring the story to life you know your own imagination your own you know uh the reservoir of your experiences and all of that and trying to bring it to life so it was very challenging it was very very challenging because uh, any stress here and there would change the meaning of the line uh, you know and uh, also to keep up with what neil has already done as the narrator in english mm. wanted it to be as close or you know as good and or as powerful as that because he is the creator of this whole thing so it has to match his imagination also well so, as an actor you are perfect so i'm sure you want that perfection in your narration as well so do you listen to it again and did you like have to work on it or are you a one take artist when it comes to narrating to 
I don't know. You should ask this to the creative team and Audible. <laughs> I don't know what we were doing, but I just remember saying, speaking so many lines, lines, the lines, the lines, because they're really, really heavy lines. And mm. also, I must say that the language that they used is not the language that we use for our casual conversation or communication. Mm -hmm. The language was also very, very pure. You know, because the nature of the Sandman and the story is such that you can't really say this story in very casual language. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not a story of like real people that we meet every day. These are people and these are characters and creatures that we've never seen in life. Mm -hmm. So even the description to go with those characters in that world had to be of, of a lot of weight. And there's so many words in Hindi that I discovered myself. You know, they're like completely new words. Like, I don't know, but Kankal, Kankal to khair, hum phir bhi sunte hai, but there's so many words which I had never heard of. And I would, iska matlab kya hai, you know? So we would look up the dictionary and say, oh, this is what it means. Oh, because these are really, really, you've never come across these kind of people, this kind of world, actually. Yeah, these characters exist beyond the realm of our imagination Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. 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 You can't relate to it. You really can't relate to it as a person. But, you know, but that's the world of storytelling. You know, it, like you have to create that world that does not exist. You know, we you've had uh, this is an adaptation of Neil Gaiman's Sandman. You had successful outings in Hollywood, Tabu. Now that the pandemic is over, are you ready to travel overseas again and do a film there? I just came back. I was shooting in Canada, but for Kufia. Hmm. But uh, I traveled abroad after almost three years and it was amazing. And I was just waiting for the pandemic to get over so that we can, you know, take a flight and just go overseas. And I think that's opened up now. So I'm really happy. For whatever reason, I go abroad. It's worth it. We know you went abroad because we all caught your airport look. You're very <laughs> rarely at the airport, but we all caught your airport look. And we all loved it, of course, as always. Stylish as always. And we are also loving you in your latest trailer of Bhul Bhulaya 2. Are you looking forward to that? Was that a fun ride for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great fun. It was very different. And we are just happy that finally we are able to release it because we started it during the, like, in the pandemic. We started it and the pandemic started and we had to shut everything. And then we had to go through a lot of ups and downs and cancellations because of, you know, people getting COVID and shooting getting canceled. So finally, we are, we've completed a very, very, like, you know, marathon movie making session with Bulbuleya. And finally, I'm happy that people will actually see it, and, you know. We will be free of it. Yeah. We're all waiting to see you, but I hope you never contracted COVID in these last two. I fortunately I did not. Yeah, fortunately I am still safe. We are, we are uh, yeah, thankfully. We are glad that our favorite is doing well, and you are reuniting with your favorite Ajay Devgan for Drishyam too, and for Bhola as well. So have you started work on these already? I have. I've started work on Drishyam and Bhola both. And in fact, I'm leaving for Goa again day after for Drishyam. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jet setter. Yeah. I completed Kufia. I completed Kutte. I completed Bhulbuleya. Started Drishyam. I started Bhola. And till August, I should have been <laughs> done with <laughs> all my projects. That's a lot. Have yeah, I have so much in my problem. life. And I need a break now after all this is done. Too much. All, all these movies, this show as well, this audible show, Sandman. Yeah. And what else, Tabu? What else are you going to surprise us with? I think this is more than enough for this year and next year. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I have really just spaced out till mid next year. So I think I have my hands full. I need to take a break now because, yeah, it's been too much continuously but the good thing is that i was working with vishal and ajay so it did not feel like you know work work or did not feel challenging so it was like home ground for me yeah thank you so much Sabu, for talking to me an absolute pleasure and looking forward to everything you have in store for us thank, thank you so much thank you.